Hello my dear students, welcome to Teachers Daily. I am Rajita Sudhir here with you. I hope you all are following my channel. If you have any suggestion, you can mention in the comment box. If anybody reminds to subscribe, please like, share and subscribe it also. So today we are going to discuss about 9th question of exercise 8.1. So this is your question. In triangle ABC, right angle at B, if tan A is equal to 1 by root 3, find the value of sin A cos C plus cos A sin C. Actually, in this question, there are two sub question also. First, we can solve question number 1 that is sin A cos C plus cos A sin C. So, before solving this question, you have to concentrate in this question because you know that here you can see there are two reference angles. So, don't confuse. If you make mistakes in you choosing reference angle, your entire answer will be wrong. So, here you can see sin A cos C cos A sin C. That means here we need two reference angle. So, for avoiding confusion, we can draw two triangles for solving this question. So, already I drew one triangle. So, one more now I am drawing. So, here reference angle is A. That is correct. So, now one more reference angle we can mark that is our C. So, you can do like this in your exam also. If you get like this question, so you have to look at the question very carefully and uh, check how many reference angle is in this question. So, now you can see here there are two reference angles. So, you can draw two triangles for solving this question. So, now we can start our question. Tan A is equal to 1 by root 3. So, I have taught two trigonometric tricks. Which one is easy that you can choose for this question. So, I am choosing here Sokka Tova. So, here you know that tan means opposite to adjacent. So, this is your opposite. And what is the meaning of adjacent? The side which contains angle and 90 degree. Angle means reference angle and 90 degree. So, this is your adjacent side. So, what is the value for tan? So, here I will write what is tan. Side opposite to reference angle by adjacent side. So, what is side opposite to angle side? What is the name of the side? BC. And what is adjacent side here? Reference angle and the 90 degree. So, that is AB. So, what is BC here? 1 and AB is root 3. So, I am marking here BC is equal to 1 and AB is equal to root 3. So, here you can see in this triangle, we know that height and base, but we don't know what is hypotenuse. So, how we can solve the hypotenuse? We can solve hypotenuse by Pythagoras theorem. So, what is the formula for hypotenuse square? Hypotenuse square is equal to sum of the squares of base and height. So, what is hypotenuse here? What is the side? AC square is equal to BC square plus AB square. So, what is BC here? 1 square and AB is root 3 the whole square. So, 1 square is 1 and you know that root 3 square means you have to cancel square and this square root. So, the answer is 3. So square root of 4 the whole square means how 2 and square root cancel. So, the answer is 4. So, now 1 plus 3 is 4. So, AC square is equal to 4. AC is equal to square root of 4 that is 2. So, now we found the value for AB, BC and AC. So, now we can continue with our question. So, what is our question? So, first we can write all the trigonometric ratios. So, here sin A cos C. So, here we can write what is sin A? Sin A means opposite to hypotenuse. So, what is opposite here? Opposite to hypotenuse that is BC by AC. So, what is the value for BC? BC is 1 and AC is 2. Next, we have to find cos A. Cos A is adjacent to hypotenuse. So, AB divided by adjacent to hypotenuse that is AC. So, AB value for AB is root 3 and AC is 2. So, now we found the two trigonometric ratio. Now, we have to find cos C and sin C. You know that in according to Pythagoras theorem, this is hypotenuse, this is base, this is height. So, what is the height uh, hypotenuse here? 2 and base is 1 and hypo, um, height is 
root 3. So now we can start to solve our question. So what is cos c here? Cos c is equal to cos is adjacent to hypotenuse. So cos is adjacent to hypotenuse means bc by ac. So what is bc here? 1 and ac is 2. Next is sin c. Sin c is equal to opposite to hypotenuse. So this is your opposite. So that means ab by ac. So AB is root 3 and AC is 2. So now we found all the four trigonometric ratios. Now we can start to solve our question. So first question is sin A cos C plus cos A sin C. So what is sin A here? 1 by 2 into cos C is 1 by 2 plus what is cos A? Root 3 by 2 into what is sin C? root 3 by 2. So, here you know that this is multiplication. So, 1 ones are 1, 2 twos are 4 and root 3 into root 3. So, you know that root 3 into root 3 is 3 or you can write root 3 the whole square. So, I already said this square and square root will cancel. So, the answer is 3. So, 3 and 2 twos are 4. So, here you know that denominators are same. So, you can add directly. So, 1 plus 3 4. So, the answer is 1. So, I hope you understood what is the first question. So, here they have given tan A is equal to 1 by root 3. So, you know that tan A means side opposite to angle A divided by adjacent side. So, according to our question, what is opposite side? What is the measurement of opposite side? 1 and what is the measurement of adjacent side? Root 3. So, after finding these two sides, we have to find the hypotenuse. So, by Pythagoras theorem, we found the value for hypotenuse that is 2. So, after finding all these four, so, we can substitute the values in our question. So, what is sin A? 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 plus root 3 by 2 into root 3 by 2. So, here you know that denom so for multiplication, we are multiplying the numerator and denominator. So, 1 ones are 1, 2 twos are 4. So, here root 3 into root 3, you know that root 3 into root 3 is 3 or we can write root 3 the whole square. So, square and square root will cancel. So, 3 by 4. Then after that, you can take the LCM but here no need to take the LCM because denominators are same. So, you can do directly. So, 3 plus 1, 4, 4 and 4 denominator same. So, 4 by 4 the answer is 1. So, now we can solve our second part of this question. This is our second question cos A cos C minus sin A sin C. We already finished our first part of this question. So, we have found the values for what is cos A, what is cos C, what is sin A, what is sin C. So, just we have to substitute these values in this question. So, cos A cos C minus sin a sin c. So, what is cos a here? Cos a is root 3 by 2 into what is cos c? 1 by 2 minus what is sin a? 1 by 2 into what is sin c? Root 3 by 2. So, here also normal we are normally what we did in first question multiplying the numerator and denominator. So, root 3 into 1 root 3 2 twos are 4. So, 1 into root 3 root 3 and 2 twos are 4. So, here you can see denominators are same. So, just normal subtraction root 3 minus root 3. So, the same number subtraction. So, the answer is 0. So, we have finished question number 9. I hope you understood question number 9. It's very easy. Please learn any of the tricks. That time you won't get any confusion. Still you are getting confusion means please mention in the comment box. I will be clearing your doubts. I am ending today's session. If you like my videos, please like, share and subscribe.